at six, putting $90,000 into the hands of a recovering drug addict. That's what insurance companies sometimes do under our current state law. Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears looks into what lawmakers want to do about it. Under our current state law, some insurance policies provided by employers include treatment for drug and alcohol abuse, but in many situations, the addict will be personally reimbursed after treatment. Average checks run between twenty-five and ninety thousand dollars. Let me just tell you from personal experience, handing somebody who is sixty-five days um, in um, addiction re recovery a huge check is not a a good thing. Um, in my personal experience, that ended up getting spent um, on the Las Vegas Strip, um, and that person, uh, my family member, returned to using um, and um, has um, zero funds left, and the provider doesn't get paid. So, Nevada Senator Patricia Farley introduced Senate Bill 262. <laughs> If passed, it would require insurance companies to make payments for addiction and treatment directly to the provider instead of the newly recovering addict. Advocates say that could help prevent a person from relapse or at least limit large sums of money they could use to buy drugs. And they say removing that temptation will help patients focus on long-term recovery and potentially save lives. According to Solutions Recovery, which has addiction treatment centers in Las Vegas, this change will impact hundreds of recovering addicts at no cost to insurance companies or providers. We have their full statement online at KTNV.com, and we will keep you posted on the progress of this legislation. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.